Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Film Concepts. So today I'm going to show you how to create a simple logo in Adobe Photoshop. This is actually a request by Faral Abdullahi. I hope I didn't get the name wrong. So let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's open up our application. For this tutorial, I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2019 and I'll go ahead and create a new document. So I'm going to set the width and height to be the exact same thing. So that's going to be 2K by 2K and I'll click on create. Now the first thing I'm going to do is bring up my rulers. So Control R to bring up the rulers and I'll click and drag from the left hand side and drop it in the middle. When you get to the center, it's just going to snap in. So you know when you hit the exact center. The first thing is to create a polygon. So I'll click on the polygon tool and set the size to 3. And I'll just click on it one time. Now make sure that the width and the height are the same. The numbers is 3 from previously. And I'm going to click on smooth corners and click on OK. Now I'll grab the move tool pressing V on my keyboard. And I'm going to stretch this out. Now mind you whilst you are stretching this out since this is a shape you have to hold down the shift key even if you are using a newer version of photoshop all right so once i've done that i'm going to rotate it also so about 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees i hit on enter and i'll place this somewhere around here now this is looking too long for me so i'll probably just bring it down to something like this all right now let's increase the size i'm holding down the alt and the shift key at the same time to enlarge it like this so let's go ahead and create some stroke with the layer selected the polygon layer selected go to fx and click on stroke now i'm going to set my stroke to inside if i set it to outside and i stretch it out you can see that we have these um uneven corners over here and you can see from down over here as well so i'm going to set mine to inside so that i don't have those horrible looking corners I'm going to set the size to about 35 or 40. So depending on whatever size you are using, yours may differ from mine. In my case, I'm just going to set it to 35 and click on OK. Now once I've done that, I'm going to create another shape. This time around is going to be a circle. So I click on the ellipse tool and I click on it one time. So the weight and height should be the same and I'll click on OK. Again, I'll go back to the move tool and I'll stretch this out using whilst holding down the shift key. I'll place this somewhere around here. Now since it is a shape, I'll double click and select a specific color I want. So I'll be picking this red color from here and I'll click on OK. I think the size is too small so I'll probably make it bigger. Something like this should be just fine. And for the last shape, it's going to be a rectangle. So I'll grab the rectangle tool. This amount, I don't actually have a specific size. So I'll just click and drag. Use the move tool and place it somewhere around here. So if I bring up the zoom tool using Z on my keyboard, I can bring up the move tool again and probably position it here. So something like this should be just fine. All right. Now I'm going to bring this rectangle beneath the ellipse because I want to have some form of drop shadow over here. So with the ellipse selected, go to FX, click on drop shadow. And you can see I have my drop shadow in like this. I'm going to position it the way I want it. So somewhere around here should be just fine. And I'm also going to reduce the opacity to about 25% and click on OK. Now for the inner information, which is the C for the concept, actually used a font but i don't remember which font i use so in this case i'm just going to be using the ellipse tool so i'll just create two circles so for the first one i'll make it about this big and i'll place it at the center like so and i'll duplicate using ctrl j and i'll resize this whilst holding down the shift and the alt key so i'll place it somewhere around here and i'll click on ok now i'm going to rasterize this tool so right click go to rasterize layer wait but before that i want to change the color of this i mean the inner one so i'll double click and i'll select a red color like this now it looks bigger so i'll make it smaller now right click on both of them and go to rasterize layer and i'm going ahead to merge these layers also so once i've done that i'll just zoom in a little bit and i'll grab the polygonal lasso tool which is this one and i'll create a shape like this so this is going to be the C that I want. And once I do that, I'll just hit delete on my keyboard like so. 
so that's going to clean up that area you can also just use the magic wand to clean up this inner side so that if i move this away you can see that this is just a seed that i have in here like so so basically that is it but of course if you are doing this for yourself you have a lot of time to create your own as always the psd template is going to be linked below so be sure to check it out it's actually going to be the first link all right thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is theo from Final concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one